Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is ordering uh, real numbers. So we're going to get numbers like square roots and pies involved and we're just going to order them from least to greatest or greatest to least. So we're going to do some good guesstimating on this. There's our, our common core strand for our most grooviest teachers and our question is how can we order a set of real numbers? Okay, so between any two real numbers there's always another number. Even if we did like 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2, well 1.11 is between 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2. So there's and there's there's a number in between those guys. So to compare and order real numbers we can approximate uh, those irrational numbers. So so here it says compare root 3 plus 5 plus 3 I'm sorry with 3 plus root 5 okay with great less than or greater than or equals to okay notice you guys this one has the square root whereas over here this one has the square root okay the other ones don't all right so let's estimate the square root of 3 and the square root of 5 okay so the square root of 3 you guys think of the square root of 3 perfect square is like 1 the square root of 1 is 1 the square root of 4 is 2, so the square root of 3 is somewhere between the square root of 1 and 4. Okay, so um, and now the square root of 3 is a little closer to the square root of 4 than it is to the square root of 1, which means it's a little closer to 2 than it is to 1. Now right in the middle would be 1.5, so since it's a little bit closer to 2, I'm going to guesstimate and say uh, somewhere in between 1 and 2, okay? All right, somewhere in between, like 1.6, 1.7, I don't know, something bigger than 1.5, okay? So we're just using the perfect squares to help us guesstimate, okay? So the, um, the square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 3 is 9, okay? Now, um, uh, since we have the square root of 5, that's in between these two guys, so it's going to be between 2 and 3, okay? So the square root of 5 is some number in between the square root of 2 and 3 okay all right so now um, uh, if we um, guesstimate you guys now let's simplify each expression right here okay so what I'm gonna do is um, uh, is since uh, root 3 is between 1 and 2 and we're adding 5 so 5 plus these boundaries that it's between is going to be 6 and 7 I'm just adding 5 plus this and 5 plus this that's how I'm getting 6 and 7 okay so when we do this side 3 plus root 5 since root 5 is between 2 and 3 we'll add 3 to that and add 3 to that we get uh, 3 plus root 5 is going to be somewhere between 5 and 6 okay so which one's going to be bigger the one that's between 6 and 7 or the one that's between 5 and 6 well obviously the one that's between 6 and 7 so root 3 plus 5 is going to be greater than so I'm going to throw a greater than symbol right up there okay so there we go it's greater than okay all right so how about this so if 7 plus root 5 is equal to root 5 plus a number what do you know about that number okay well it has to be 7 right there you guys because um, uh, both expressions have to equal 7 plus root 5 okay they have to be so what are the closest integers for the square root of 300 well remember in the last lesson we had all these perfect squares so if I square root it this side, I get this side right here. So the square root of 300, okay, there's 361, but this one's closer. Okay, this one's pretty close too. Which two integers are going to be closest to the square root of 300? These two integers, 17 and 18 right there. Okay, all right, so don't forget we have that from uh, the last lesson. Okay, so let's compare these, you guys. Okay, so the square root of 2 plus 4. Well, root 2 is between square root of 1 and square root of 4, which is 1 and 2 root 4 is just plain old 2 you guys so um, let's just guesstimate and say it uh, square root of 2 is 1.5 it, it probably isn't 1.5 in fact let's see what that is right there if we did that so the square root of 2 I don't think it's 1.5 I think it's like 1.3 so let's see what the calculator does now we're not supposed to use these I'm just using to check so there's the square root of 2 right there the square oh I did square root of 3 sorry let's do that again so let's do the square root of 2. Square root of 2 is 1.4. Okay, so I'm just guesstimating and saying 1.5 right here. Okay, so you can say it's 1.4 or whatever. All right, so this side over here is just going to be 2 plus, and this is just 2. 2 plus 2 is, is 4 right there. Okay, so when we uh, compare those, you guys, what's bigger? 1.5 plus 4, which is 5.5, or 2 plus 2, which is 4. 
This side's bigger, so I'm going to do the arrow going that way right there, okay? All right, how about this, okay? The square root of 12 is in between the square root of 9, which is 3, and the square root of 16, which is 4. So this is somewhere between 3 and 4. So let's just guesstimate for this sake to save us time. We'll call this 3.5, okay? So it probably isn't 3.5, but we'll just say it's 3.5 to help us with this problem. 3.5 plus this 6 right here, this side would be 9.5. Okay, the square root of 6 is in between the square root of 4, which is 2, and the square root of 9, which is 3. So this number is in between 2 or 3, okay? So we'll just call it um, uh, 2.5, okay? So here we have 2.5 plus, I'm sorry, 12 plus 2.5. This side would be 14.5. This side would be 9.5. So this side is bigger, so I'm going to go this way with the arrow, okay? All right, so just doing some guesstimates right there, okay? So we can compare and order real numbers and list them from least to greatest, and then we'll do in the end, list them from greatest to least. So let's order these numbers, root 22, and then the second number is pi plus 1, and the third number is 4 and a half. I'm going to change them all to decimals and guesstimate, on, especially on that square root of 22, okay? First of all, you guys, pi is approximately equal to 3.14. So this says pi plus 1. So if I add 1 to 3.14, I'm going to say this value right here is going to be 4.14. All right? Now, 4.5 is a decimal, so 4.1 right there. 4.5 is a decimal, is 4.5. Okay? And definitely, you guys, um, 4.5 is definitely greater than this value of 4.14. So I know this one's bigger than this one. Let's estimate this. Okay, the square root of 22 is in between the square root of 16 and the square root of 25 right there. Okay, and it's closer to um, 22 is closer to 25 than it is to 16. So it's going to be closer to this number 5 than 4. So 4.5 would be right in the middle of 4.5. So it's going to be like 4.6 or 4.7, something like that. So let's just guesstimate and say it's going to be 4.6 or 4.7. It does, and actually, if we did that, I think it's 4.69. Let's see. Okay, now again, we don't have calculators. So I'm just checking. So what was it? It was 22. So 22 square root 4.69. Okay, so, so I think I said 4.6 on this, which is greater than 4.5. Okay, so this is the biggest number. Okay, and then the 4.5, which was 4.5, is the middle number. And then the pi plus 1 is the smallest number. So from least to greatest, this is the smallest number. This is uh, the next biggest number, and this is the biggest number right there. Okay, so there it is. And to put those on a number line, here it is right there. So pi plus 1 is that 4.14 right there. 4.5 is 4.5 right here. And square root of two, 22 is uh, 4.69. So here's 4.7. So almost there. 4.69 just a little bit off right there. All right. So here, order the numbers from least to greatest and then graph them on the number line. Okay. So the square root of 5, you guys, here's the square root of 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So the square root of 5 is somewhere between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9. It's a little bit closer to the square root of 4 than it is to the square root of 9 because square root of 5 is one digit away from 4, and, and it's uh, four digits away from here. So it's going to be closer to 2 than it is to 3. So I'm going to say something like 2.2 or 2.3 or 2.1 to 2.3, and that's definitely less than 2.5. So this one is bigger than this one. Now the square root of 3 is going to be less than the square root of 5. The square root of 3 is somewhere in between here. It's between 1 and 2 right there. So uh, just guesstimate, you guys. So I said 1.6 to 1.8. And both of those are less than the square root of 5, which is 2.1 to 2.3. So let's now just follow the directions up here. And it says uh, list them from least to greatest. So the smallest one is root 3. The second smallest one is uh, root 5. And then the biggest one is 2.5. Okay. Now it does say to graph them right here. So let's go ahead and graph um, uh, them in order. I think I graphed them all at once. So, so square root of 3 is 1.6 to 1.7. So here's 1.6, uh, I don't know, right about there. So one point, So somewhere right about there is going to be the square root of 3. The square root of 5 is going to be 2.1 to 2.3, so somewhere over here. And then here's 2.5 right there, okay? So there they are on the number line, okay? 
All right, let's do the next one. Okay, so pi squared. Well, pi is 3.14, so I'm going to be crude about it and just do 3.1. Since it's being squared, then 3.1 times 3.1 gives me 9.61. So this is 9.61, definitely less than 10. Let's get the square root of 75. That's in between the square root of 64, okay, and the square root of 81. Can you see 75 and fits in between these guys? Now, which one is 75 closer to, 64 or 81? Okay, so it's definitely closer to this one because it's only six digits away where it's nine digits away there. So 8.5 would be right in the middle. It's going to be closer here, so like 8.6 or 8.7. I don't know. I said that. Okay, which is definitely less than um, pi squared, which is 9.61. Okay, so we know all the numbers now. So um, uh, I can now say that uh, root 75 is the smallest. Pi is the mediumest, and then 10 is the biggest right there. So there they are in order, and then put them on the number line. There they are on the number line, something like that. Okay, you guys can do this. All right, so if the real numbers A, B, and C are in order from least to greatest, so that means C is the greatest right here, you guys. So that means it's farther away from zero on a number line. B is closer to zero on the number line, and A is the closest number on the number line. So if the what's the order of all the opposites? So what would be negative A, negative B, negative C? Well, negative A would still be closest to zero on the number line. Negative B would be in the middle, and negative C would be the furthest away from zero on the number line. So if we're talking about negatives, you guys, it goes backwards. This would be, it says, from um, opposites from least to greatest. So my least is the one furthest to the left, is this one. My second least is the one closer. The third least, or the biggest one, is that guy right there. So something like that. So negative C, B, A would be the order. Negative C is furthest from zero on the number line. Negative B is in the middle, and negative A is closest to zero on the number line. Okay, so it did say explain. All right, so let's order some real numbers in real world context. So Calculations and estimations in real world may be different, um, so it can be important to know which one are the most accurate and by which give the greatest and least values, depending on the context of the problem. So here's a table right here. Four people have found the distances in kilometers across a canyon using different methods. So here's their results in the ta table. Now be careful, you guys, right here. This one says order the from distances from the biggest to the smallest. So let's get the decimals of these guys. I think I'm going to do that fraction first. Let's just slide it up right there. Okay, so there it is. Let's find this uh, 23 fourths. So 24 goes into 23 five times with three left over. So 5 and 3 fourths, which is 5.75. Okay, so 5.75 is definitely larger than 5.5. So this one's bigger than this one. Okay, and 5.5 and is 5.5. All right, so 5.5 with bar on top of it just means the fives repeat. Okay, so 5.5555555 is bigger than 5.5. Okay, which is um, uh, uh, less than 5.75 right there. All right, let's figure out what's the square root of 28. That's going to be between uh, the square root of um, 25 and 36. And 28 is it closer to 25 or 36? Well, 28 is only 3 away from this, but it's uh, 8 away from this. So 5.5 would be in the middle, 5.5. So I'm going to say like 5.2 or 5.3 because it's closer to that one right there. All right, let's put them in order from least to greatest right there. Okay, so I'm sorry, greatest to least. So the biggest number was that uh, 5.75. The second biggest number was the 5 with the 5555 repeating, then 5.5. And then since the square root of 28 is 5.2 or 5.3, it's the smallest, okay? Let's graph these guys, all right? So here we go. Let's go ahead and graph. Um, I'm just going to do this one first. So 5.75. So here's 5.4. This would be 5, 5.6, 5.75. So here would be um, um, 5 and 3 fourths right there, okay? Or 23 fourths, okay? And then now let's do this one, 5 and a half, okay? So here's 5.4, 5.6. This must be... 5.5. Okay, so there's five and a half right there. 5.555 is a little bit to the right. Okay, and the square root of 28 is 5.2 or 5.3, something like that. 
All right, so there they are on a number line. All right, one more, you guys. So four people have found the distances and miles across a crater using different methods. Their results and miles are given. So Jonathan does uh, 10 and 10 thirds. Elaine does 3.454545. And then uh, Jose does 3.5. And, and then LaShonda does uh, root 10. Okay, so order the distances, again, from greatest to least. Okay, so 10 thirds is the same as 3 and a third, which is 3.333. 3.45 repeating is 3.454545 okay now this one is bigger than this one right here so that means 3.45 with a bar is bigger than 10 thirds this is 3.5 so that's even a little bit bigger you guys okay so 3.5 is larger than 3.45 which is larger than that and the square root of 10 the square root of 10 is right in between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16 it's a much closer to the square root of 9 than it is the square root of 16. So 10 is closer to 9 as it is 16. So maybe 3.1, something like that. So I'm just going to say the square root of 10 is 3.1. So there they are from greatest to least. Okay. So the biggest is that 3.5. And then the next one is 3.4545. And then 10 thirds is 3.333333. And the square root of 10 is 3.1 or something like that. Okay. So I didn't say put it on number line, so I didn't. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care and be good to your teachers.